Hey there folks, today I'd like to take a casual peek into the DC Universe Classics Atom Smasher action figure. Uh, this action figure is the uh, Collect and Connect uh, figure for Wave number 7, uh, which contained 7 different action figures, uh, 6 of them uh, containing the parts needed to build uh, Atom Smasher. I've actually had all the parts except for one uh, for quite a while. Uh, for at least uh, half a year now and uh, the only part I needed was uh, the right arm that came with the Kid Flash and uh, I've been actually just been putting off buying the Kid Flash because of the stories I heard about the issues uh, with the figure but I actually ended up finally getting it on the uh, free comic book day of uh, 2010 so uh, now I have all the parts and uh, we'll go ahead and go over each one. Uh, here is the upper torso of Adam Smasher that came with the Ocean Warrior Aquaman. Here is the right arm that came with the Kid Flash. Here. And here is the right leg that came with the Blue Beetle. And the left leg uh, that came with uh, either version of Booster Gold. And uh, here's the left arm uh, that came with the uh, both versions of Big Barda. And finally we have the head and uh, lower torso uh, that came with the Captain Cold. So let's go ahead and... Uh, put this guy together and uh, we'll be right back okay uh, we're back and Atom Smasher has been put together and it's actually a nice figure uh, when finally assembled uh, there's only a couple issues I have with it uh, but we'll get into that in a little bit uh, first thing I want to do is do the size comparison uh, between uh, this uh, Collect and Connect and a DC Universe Classics figure just to get an overall impression uh, of the size differences. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, use my Wave 6 Superman and we'll just line them up uh, right next to Adam Smasher here and you can see it's actually uh, uh, the figure of uh, Adam Smasher is actually uh, quite tall. Uh, he measures about 9 inches tall so pretty impressive uh, figure uh, compared to DC Universe Classics. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, Adam Smasher in uh, a little bit more detail. It's actually uh, pretty neat. Uh, f first major issue I have is uh, the joint for the right arm. Uh, it just doesn't want to stick in uh, too well. It, it tends to pop out. Uh, but um, I, uh, I'll end up fixing this up uh, by just applying some super glue around the joints right here and it should uh, stick uh, pretty well uh, after it dries. Uh, I had that similar issue with uh, one of uh, Calibac's arms as well and uh, the super glue uh, thing just uh, works uh, just fine. And uh, the only other issue I have is just the quality of the torso area and I think uh, it, I already went over this in my uh, one of the videos the uh, Aquaman video uh, but there's just uh, some shoddy work on the uh, on the application of the paint uh, like here on the uh, the lining of the belt and uh, just uh, it's just uh, seems like a just not very uh, well painted compared to the rest of the figure on there but uh, once the all of the pieces are together it tends to blend in so it's not so bad so but uh, other than that it's actually a very nice figure um, you can see um, the details on the on this guy He's, especially I really like the uh, bracers here and the boots uh, the detail is very very nice and you also have the face mask here which is uh, the, the eyes are really well painted on this uh, I don't know if you can see it uh, through the video but it's actually a very nice on there and also the details of his uh, the bare arms here you can see the veins on his arms so it's actually really really nice on there 
overall, I am pretty, I'm pretty impressed with the figure. I really like it. So, uh, going over the articulation, uh, the head goes all the way around, and it goes up just a l ever so slightly and down on here. I, I'm wondering if if the peg had been uh, on the torso instead of on the head. I wonder if the range of motion on the head would have been a lot better, but. Uh, but this, it's still okay uh, uh, on the articulation. The arms uh, do go all the way around. The right arm comes off. <laughs> and the, uh, the arms do go out and in. Uh, it rotates at the bicep, bends at the elbow, and rotates at the wrist. The torso actually goes down and back uh, quite a ways. Because there's really nothing to impede uh, the torso going back. The waist, uh, actually, the waist joint is underneath the belt here. And the belt's made of a softer rubber. And uh, so the waist does go all the way around. You just have to work on it a little bit. The legs do go up, down, and a little bit to the back, and out to the side. Uh, this uh, joint here is a little loose on there compared to this one. The thighs uh, do go all the way around, the knees bend, and the feet uh, bend up and down as well. So Overall, I really like the, this Atom Smasher uh, figure. It will definitely add to my JSA lineup, and uh, I'm, I'm happy to, to get uh, this figure uh, finally assembled. Uh, but this is my uh, casual peek into the Atom Smasher uh, figure from uh, DC Universe Classics. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.